Ether 2, inline regulator, maintenance. So the inline regulator on Ether 2 is mounted inside the grip frame and it's attached to the pop assembly at the bottom. No need to remove the frame, no need to remove the grips, nothing we can just access the inline regulator direct from the bottom of the pot assembly. To turn it over, use the X key and slacken off both of the screws. These do have um, these do have patches on them, anti-vibration patches so they don't come loose. It doesn't mean they're a bit tight to remove. So I'll slacken both of those off and drop those out. And again, you can see the blue anti-vibration patches on those. They hold them in place nicely. Then we can slide out assembly here. Once you've slid this assembly out, you can place the gun to one side. And see the pops body here. And this is the inline regulator assembly here. Now the inline regulator assembly can be removed completely from pops but there's no need to do this these are two stationary o-rings static o-rings they don't move they're just there to form uh, to form a seal the inlet into the regulator so we can leave that in there we'll try just removing the top without taking it out of the pops body so we need to hold the pops body and then we're going to remove the cap from the top Grip that if you've got greasy hands like I have, and unscrew the cap there. With the cap will come the piston, and then one more piece in there is the spring. That just leaves the adjuster, adjuster assembly inside the regulator body here. That can be removed by placing a 1 8 hex key in the bottom, unscrewing it clockwise, and pushing it through until it pops out. So now you have just an empty regulator body here. We have the adjuster assembly, we have the regulator spring, and I've just wiped the grease off here. We have the piston and the regulator top. So we can remove all the excess grease from all of this. And can inspect the external o-rings, two on the outside of there, and one on the outside of the piston. Everything looked good here, so we can start to re-grease now. We have one o-ring that is very hard to see, and that's a number eight o-ring down the inside of this brass part of the adjuster top. So this does need lubricating. This is one of the key O-rings that's quite hard to get to, but does need to be lubricated. Just take a little blob of grease and apply it to the top of there and use something like a two mil driver and work it around the inside. And that will put grease onto the number eight O-ring on the inside there. You can then use the remainder of the grease on the outside. Just a, and what is left we can Put around the o-ring on the piston and slide the piston into the reg top and take just a little bit more grease just to apply it around the shaft again this is the part that is going to work inside of the adjuster there on that number eight so that needs a bit of grease too now there's several ways to reassemble this um, First of all, I suppose we're going to put the adjuster in. We can drop that in. We need to apply a bit of pressure to the top of the adjuster, or we put the 1 8 hex key back in. And we're going to turn that anti clockwise now until it's all the way out. And then, as a rough starting point, we want to go three and a half to four turns back in. So once you've got it all the way out, do a one, two, three, three and a half to four. That's a good starting point for your velocity because you will need to re-chrono <coughs> re the gun once it's reassembled. You can then take the spring, place that over the piston and screw the two halves back together. Wipe off the grease, just tighten it down until the two halves are together. 
Once that's reassembled, we can drop it all back into the frame. Drop the two retaining bolts back in. Pass those down. And screw them all the way in. Once they're up all the way in, you can just gently nip them up. Don't need to be over tight. Just go back and forth a couple of times. And that's the inline regulator maintained underneath the two.